Houston area, we probably had, I want to say, well, actually more kids than we ever had since I've been to Texas Southern University that's playing in the car young league. And I like that league for our kids because uh, it's a very competitive league and it also gives them an opportunity to continue to develop in the Houston area. You know, pick up hours in summer school and also work in our weight room and strength conditioning program. So uh, it's been a really good summer and, and uh, also our kids are young. We got a very young program. Uh, so we'll be re returning all of our pitchers uh, from last year with the exception of one. But when you look at our roster, we have a very, you know, young roster. But uh, also, you know, the summer has been very busy. We uh, uh, like the recruits that we brought in. I think everybody is, 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 is uh, kind of on me about because I told them last year, I say, you know, they say, you got pitching. I say, yeah, I got pitching. But, you know, we had numbers last year. This year we got quality. Okay. So, uh, you know, and, and it's definitely uh, the window of opportunity at Texas Southern is, is, is there for growth, you know. So, uh, obviously, you know, with uh, the way the changes that they made in Division I, um, it's a lot of parity. And I don't know any Division One school is going to, you know, turn it around in one year or two. If you do, you're just fortunate because of all these different constraints and, and stuff that, you know, an institution may have to deal with. So we're expecting some breaks at Texas Southern University in our baseball program. We've lost some kids in the past due to injuries. Uh, you know, uh, a couple of kids that, you know, we didn't return, retain in the program that we were counting on. But uh, I think, you know, each and every institution will go through this and that route to winning championships. So I look forward for a, a really, really, really compelling season, a season of excitement and, and a winning atmosphere. Talk about the changes that have been made in Division One. They've made a lot of changes, you know, in, in all the sports now this year. Are they, will it be short-term effect or a long-term gain? No, oh, man, uh, long-term game, you know, because uh, actually it's all centered around the student. You know, uh, like Mike Davis said uh, earlier that, you know, uh, APR is, is uh, it's not what a lot of people think it is. You know, it, it's, it's all centered around that 2.6 because, you know, even if a kid leaves the program, you know, and if you have a 2.6, you won't lose a point. So uh, us as coaches, that's what we've been doing for years. That's what we do, you know. We... Uh, cultivate kids to graduate and go to school. I mean, we spend more time with kids uh, talking to them about the importance of education from, you know, the grassroots. So, you know, that's what we do, you know. So uh, we invite, you know, NCAA, you know, with the rule changes and stuff centered around, um, you know, uh, uh, the academics. Um, for the kids to be academically inclined, you know, we, we, we induce that upon our kids, you know. And uh, one of our first responsibilities is that they graduate from school, you know. <laughs> of course, we want to win championships, too. Of course, we're going to win championships, but we can't do it without the kid being there. So, obviously, you know, if you can't, uh, you know, perform uh, academically, then, you know, you can't play. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, we, we overcome a lot of adversity and obstacle uh, in Texas Southern Baseball, you know, in a very short time academically. We perform and now higher than the Texas Southern Baseball team have ever performed. Our APR now is, has been 944 over the last two years. And I think a lot of people don't realize that is that um, academic is not our problem around Texas Southern and baseball because more than half of my baseball team is performing over 3.0. And so the image is there, the culture is there, the last piece of the puzzle is to win championship. So, uh, you know, again, you know, I don't know how you, we could have done, you know, at all in, in, uh, in the course of, uh, you know, three or four, se four seasons that I've been at Texas Southern. But we're expecting change in the way we perform on the field. Uh, I'm very excited about the schedule that we're playing this year. You know, you see us play Texas A&M, University of Texas, um, TCU, DBU, those are all top 25 schools. So, you know, the schedule that we're playing this year will revolutionize baseball and, and not only Texas Southern, but in the nation, you know, because we have opportunity to showcase our program nationally. And then the MLB tournament, man, that's a, wow, that's a can't miss, you know, in terms of exposure for our kids, our community, and Texas Southern University and our baseball program. So, you know, when I look at it all in all, this program is definitely headed in the right direction. Uh, I'm excited about the schedule. I'm excited about the kids that we got coming back in our program. And I'm also excited about the recruits that we have coming in and moving forward. That's, is it anything you can think of that I hadn't asked about the baseball program all season for the for school starts? Because once school starts, I'll give you all 30 days 
right. and then I'm gonna show up and I'm gonna say, okay, right. <laughs> I need right. information, right. real, right. real right. information. Right. Well, you know, it's it's a lot of information that's uh, being provided for uh, people that follow Texas Southern University on our website. You can tap into uh, tsu.edu and, and click on baseball. And uh, man, I tell you, it's it's, it's a, a lot of information. Uh, that's being put out there about our baseball program and deservingly so because we're recruiting some uh, top level uh, kids in, to play Division One baseball at Texas Southern. And, uh, you know, excitement is in the air. You know, we, we were one game short of going to championship last year. So uh, we're expecting to pick up and finish what we started last year. Uh, you know, we, we uh, and we still got kids coming in. That's, that's walking on, that's uh, trying to get in at Texas Southern. But, you know, with that 35-man uh, cap, it makes it extremely important. But we're looking to press the competition at Texas Southern our baseball program because, uh, uh, you know, I'm in it to win it, you know. And so uh, um, I like what we got uh, in moving forward at Texas Southern and in our baseball program. Thank you, sir. Uh, introduce yourself and we'll close that. Michael Robertson, head coach at Texas Southern University. Baseball. Baseball.